I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with you, man. This is Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before I get going on today's video, y'all be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and share the video, bro. Put your seatbelt on when you get in my car. If you come through and view the video, be sure to hit the like button, bro. Put your seatbelt on when you hop in the car with me. And as I said, subscribe to the channel and share the video, bro. Also, comment down below, bro. I love chopping it up with y'all and talking boxing with you, but I can't do that unless you leave a comment. So be sure to comment down below so we can chop it up on this boxing, man. Also, um, if you want to have me hop on a panel, if you want to have me um, do a collaboration with you because you're a content creator here on YouTube as well, you can reach me out, reach out to me at knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com. That's knockoutboxing the number eight, the number six at yahoo.com. We also do subscriber requests on this channel, so you can reach out to that email if you have some sort of video or some sort of topic that you want me to cover. Um, you know, reach out to that email and I'll try to make the video for you, man, if it's relevant to what's going on in today's boxing world. Um, so let's get into it, bro. This is one of my favorite type of videos, man. I'm going to do a fight prediction, man. I was only going to do two this week. Um, I was having trouble finding a third fight, but then I looked back through the boxing schedule and I saw a fight that was intriguing that I didn't see at first. So I was like, oh, I got to do a prediction on this one. I got to do a prediction on this one because this one is a tough one to call. It's, it's not as easy as the naked eye might think, bro. You feel what I'm saying? So let's let's talk about it for a minute. So we got Lawrence Acoli, um versus Christoph Glowaki. Glowaski. I don't know how to say Glowaki. I don't know how to say his name, bro. But it's for the Bankit WBO Cruiserweight Championship, bro. It's a world title fight. And if you just look at BoxRec and you don't watch the fights, you know what I'm saying, and you don't know what's going on in boxing, you would think this is supposed to be a very, very easy fight. For Lawrence Acoli. But it's not, bro. But it's not. But knockout boxing. This guy, Christoph Glowacki, he got knocked out in his last fight. He got starched. He's damaged goods, bro. Look, man. I watch that fight. I try to watch every boxing match that comes on, bro. And Glowacki got robbed in that fight. He got robbed. Straight up and down, he got robbed versus Maris Breedis. Maris Breedis... That was a robbery, bro. Highway robbery. But knockout, how the hell is it a robbery when somebody get knocked out? I'm going to tell you how, bro. If you go back and you watch the fight, in round two, Glowacki, they were tied up. Glowacki hit him in the back of the head, which is an illegal punch. It's a rabbit punch. It's an illegal punch. You know what I'm saying? He should have been deducted a point for that. No doubt. But immediately after that, Breedis retaliated with an MMA elbow from the gods, bro. He wound up and elbowed the hell out of Glowacki in his chin, bro. Not, man, bro, it was, it was an elbow that John Bones Jones would be proud of, bro. That's how hard he hit him with his elbow, bro, right on the jaw, bro. And you could tell by the way that Glowacki fell, bro, he, he knocked him out, bro. It was like a knockout punch. He knocked him out, right? They give Glowacki time to get to get get right, you know, which he never got right. And then in that same round, in round two, Breedis caught him with a punch that was legal, hit him on the chin, and he got knocked out instantly, bro. Got knocked out instantly. That fight should have should have been a disqualification, bro, because of that elbow. He hit him with that elbow that hard that he did, he knocked him out, bro. He was hurt for a long time. He tried to get up and recover, said he could continue. But as soon as um soon as Bree just caught Glowacki clean, bro, with a um with a right hand, he was knocked out, bro. And that's why I say he was robbed in that fight. So don't necessarily believe everything when you look at the box wreck, bro. Go back and watch the fights. And then you look at you look at his record, bro. Glowacki's been in there with Steve Cunningham. He's been in there with Alexander Usyk. And he lost that fight, but he it went to a unanimous decision. You feel what I'm saying? So this is a very good fighter that's been in there with top cruiserweights and held his own. And held his own. I believe he beat Steve Cunningham. If my memory serves me correctly, he beat him, bro. Yeah, because his only losses are to um to Glo to to Breedis, who knocked him out. You know, I feel like it was a robbery. He should have been disqualified for that elbow that he threw. And then he lost to Usyk, bro. Yeah, that's it. He beat Cunningham. So he's been in there with some guys that can fight, bro. And then you got... Lawrence Acoli, who I like, bro. I like a lot. Lawrence Acoli is 15-0. He got 12 knockouts so far in his career. Very good skills at cruiserweight. 
really good with his right hand. He diversifies it very, very well. Um, he goes to the body, digs to the body with like a right hook. He got a good straight right coming to you. He got a good right hook and a good um, right uppercut. If you notice, I talked about his right hand a lot because the only punch I really see him throw is a jab with his left hand, which in reality, good jab, good variety of punches on your right hand. And, you know, a lot of times that's all you need, bro. Has a good jab um, that he's able to get out there, keep people at, at distance with his jab and use that jab kind of to measure and then throw, you know, his variety of right hands that we said that he has. Other than that, with his left hand, though, I like to see him be more diverse, get better with left hooks to the body, um, to the head. He does try to throw a, a check left hook sometimes, but it's kind of, it's kind of eh, you know what I mean? Nothing really to write home about, but he's a good cruiser rate. He's a good, good, good contender, and he's fighting for his first world title, man, 15 fights in, so that's to be commended. He does keep his left hand low, in my opinion, and it's something that fighters can take advantage of um, because his left hand is always low down here, and he throws his jab like that, and he's there to be hit if you're good enough and if you're a good enough counterpuncher and fast enough to do that. I don't think Glowacki is, bro. I don't think he's good enough to take advantage of the flaws that are in Lawrence Acoli's game, bro. I don't. I think Lawrence is going to be faster. I think he's more diverse. You feel what I'm saying? But Glowacki is a warrior, and this is going to be a, a, a very, very good test for Acoli. On top of being a test, he's fighting for a world title. So what do I think is going to happen, bro? This is how I see the fight playing out. I see Akoli using his jab, using his superior athleticism in his feet to keep, um, to keep Glowacki at distance. I see him going to the body with the right hand, going to the body, going to the head with the right hand, throwing hooks, throwing straights, you know, because Glowacki is there to be hit. His best defense is his heart and his chin. And I feel like something was taken out of him, bro, in that last fight. You know, I hate to say it, but that elbow could have could have did some damage, man. It looked like it did some damage. We're going to see in this fight because he was a warrior up until that point, bro. He was a warrior up until that point. So we'll see how he responds. But I think he's going to respond well. But I just think Lawrence Ciccoli is going to be too much for him. Right? I think he's just a better fighter. And I think the holes in Lawrence Ciccoli's game, his holes of keeping his left hand too low, his holes are not really being diverse on the left side of his body. I don't think Glowacki will be able to take advantage of it. I don't think he'll be able to move away from the right hand enough. I don't think he'll be able to counter good enough to come over the top of that low left hand that Akoli has. I just think Akoli's just going to be, you know, he's going to outclass him. I think he's a different level of fighter than, um, I think he's a different level of fighter than um, Glowacki, bro. I just do. And so I got Akoli by knockout. And if I've been saying Glowacki's name the whole the wrong the whole time, y'all know who I'm talking about. Just go look at the damn schedule, man. I'm from America. I have trouble with the foreign names sometimes. But that doesn't mean I don't respect you guys, man. I just sometimes I don't know how to pronounce it. But right now, we about eight minutes in this video. It ain't a short ass video. It's a medium ass video. You feel what I'm saying? Because it ain't gonna be a short ass fight. I don't think it's gonna be a short ass fight. I think it's gonna go about eight or nine rounds, bro. I'm picking the Coley by knockout in the ninth round. And by knockout, I don't mean he's going to starch him. I don't think he's going to go to sleep. But I think the refs are going to stop the fight, bro. I think they're going to have to stop the fight. They're going to have to pull Coley off of, um, off of old buddy, off of Glowacki, man. So that's my third fight, man. That's my third fight. So to run it down for y'all and wrap it up, we picked the Arthur, Arthur Baturbiev fight versus um, Adam Denise. I got Baturbiev by knockout. We picked the Virgil Ortiz versus Maurice Hooker fight. I got Virgil Ortiz by knockout. And we're going to make a video on Virgil Ortiz. I ain't going to get into it too much right now. But he missed weight. He missed weight. And we got to talk about it. That'll probably drop tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. You know what I'm saying? And then we're picking this fight, Akoli versus Glowacki. And I got Akoli. So that's my three picks. Akoli, Ortiz, and um, Baturbiel. Y'all need to listen to your boy, man. Go bet on that shit. I'm telling you, bro. I got a 9, 2, and 3 record on this channel with my fight predictions. I know what I'm talking about, bro. I know what I'm talking about. Go bet on this, man. Take your paycheck. Bet on it. So you can make some money. I'm giving you free game right now. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Who y'all got in this fight? We got three great cards on um, tomorrow night. Looking forward to it, you know. And let me know what you think in the comment section. Who you gonna who gonna win? How they gonna win? Um, and all that good stuff, man. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share the video, bro. Put your seatbelt on when you hop in the car. That's it. 
you come through and watch the video, be sure to hit the like button. Put your seatbelt on when you hop in the car. Subscribe to the channel and share the video. And if you're talking this boxing on YouTube and you want to have me hop on the panel, you can reach out to me easily, bro. Knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com is the email. Um, that email is also good for any subscribers that have a request for me, bro. If there's a topic in boxing that you want me to cover, that you want me to do a video on, I want to do the type of videos that you want to see, bro. So let me know in that email. Knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com. I appreciate y'all watching this one. It's great to be back, bro. We dropped three videos today. We back grinding, man. We back grinding, bro. Appreciate y'all watching, though. Enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, we out here. Peace.